Hello guys, so this video will be very quick to show you how can you convert any shapefile to a KML file and how can you convert a KML file to a shapefile. KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language and it's a way to construct and create geographical data using a markup language. And it's very commonly used and you need to know how can you convert your feature classes or shapefiles to KML and if you got any KML how can you convert it to shape files. So here we have California project opened with Texas addresses, the shape file we used before to create the locator. We will use this one to convert it to KML file. So the way to convert this shape file to KML, you go to the analysis tab, you open the geoprocessing tools and search for KML. And you will find two options you have right here. You have KML to layer and you have layer to KML. And we will try both. So let's do the layer to KML first. And here I want to choose the Texas address to be my layer. And I want to save my KML file into the KML folder in the course data. So when you go to the course data folder, you will see a KML folder. And we will save our KML file here. We will call it 2KML. And again, if you cannot remember, KMZ is the same as KML, but KMZ is a compressed version of a KML file. So if you have a KML or KMZ, both of them are exactly the same, only the KMZ is a compressed version of the KML. So when we convert it to KML here, it will be created as KMZ and it's exactly the same thing. So here we will call it uh, 2KML and we will say save and we will click run. And now the shape processing is taking this uh, shape file we have and it will convert it to a KML file. And once it's done, we will be able to go to the folder and see our KMZ file or KML file. And we can open it on Google Earth to see how it will look like. Now it's done. And here we will go to our folder location where we saved our KML. And here it is to KML KMZ. When you double click on it, if you have Google Earth installed on your machine, it will open automatically on uh, Google because actually KML is created by Google so the default application to run any KML or KMZ file is Google Earth and here's our data exactly as we see it on ArcGIS Pro and this is our shape file converted to KML and when you identify any item or any address you will see that you have the same exact information you have on your shape file. So now let's go back and see how can we do the opposite. So if you have any KML file, how can you convert it to a shape file or to a feature class so you can use it on ArcGIS Pro as any other feature class. So let's go back here and we will go back to the Jupyter processing search and open the KML to layer. And before we do that, I want to show you that you can add any KML file to your map right here without any problem. So let's go and add our KML file that we just created. So to KML. It's a KMZ or KML, both of them are the same. So let's choose both of them. We have KML here and we have KMZ here and we say okay. And that will add it to our map. So let's hide our shape file. So right now this data is a KMZ data. It's not a shape file, it's just a KML and it doesn't have any attribute table as you see. It's just graphics on the map. You can still identify and see the information re related to this feature you just clicked on. Same thing you do with a shape file. But remember, you are working on a KML file. You are not working on a shape file. And here we have the sample KML. Let's right click and zoom to it. And this is a sample KML file showing you some text, some polygon and points location. And this one is one of the samples that Google provides. So let's remove this one. We don't need it anymore. And now let's go back and try to see how can we convert the KML file we have that we just created back to a shape file. So here we will open the KML to layer and we will choose what KML file we want to add because we have one already here. So it automatically filters our layers on the content window to see if we have any KML or KMZ. Uh, we want to choose it from a folder. You can open the folder right here and say I want to choose the KML file I have. So let's for example go here and choose to KML. So this is a file we will convert back to a shape file. Say OK. And here we define the output location. So we are going to save it in this folder right here. We'll say OK. And we will call it from KML. What this geoprocessing will do when we click run, it will create a geodatabase called from KML and it will add a new feature class type points inside of it 
that will contain our points that we converted from KML or KMZ to a uh, feature class. So here it's done and it's added to the map. So here we have our points. Let's hide any other layers and zoom to this one. And as you see, you still see the same exact information, but now this is a feature class converted from a KML. And when you go to the catalog and we open our folder, you will see that you have a geo database creating using this name and inside of it you will see a feature data set called place marks and inside of it you will see your points feature class and you can work on this feature class as any other feature class so basically that's how you can convert kml to feature class and how you can convert feature class to kml how can you open a kml and how can you work on kml files just in case you need to work in any KML files in the future, now you know how can you use them. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.